What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dynamic AI Tech, JP here. And listen, if you haven't already done so, could you please hit that like button and that subscribe button and also that notification bell because we are all about finding the best free or highly discounted AI generation software because my goodness, we know how expensive costs can get as content creators. So if you're new to this channel, you probably don't know that OpenArt AI is now my favorite image generation and video generation program. And by the end of this video, this might just be your favorite program too, but you're gonna have to stick around to the end to see everything that OpenArt has to offer with its image generations and its storytelling and its music videos and its consistent characters and now audio narration. I have a feeling that you're gonna wanna pick up this program too. Let's dive in. The bread and butter of OpenArt AI is its image generation. A year ago, it was only image generation, but within the last year, it introduced all of these other different features. So we're just gonna go right here and look at create image. And yes, I have all these images in here. And what I love about OpenArt AI is it has so many different models to choose from. It has over 200 models to choose from. My favorite is OpenArt photorealistic. Flux context is pretty good. Nano banana is the most recent one. Sea dream is good. Again, all of these are so good, but you can create all different types of animated characters and storybook images and 3d Pixar style images, watercolor. Look at all these. These are just so, so amazing. And this program is so much fun to use. And yes, it does have a free version, which you guys should just go ahead and sign up for free just to check out all of these different models. Now I can say this, I don't think all of these are available with the free, but you can certainly try this out for free and then let us know what you think about the program. So I created videos. I will say this, once you start generating images with OpenArt AI, I don't think you're gonna wanna go back to your other program. So you can type something in here in the prompt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my model to open art photorealistic. And this uses 30 credits. I have 16,000, so I am good. And let's create an image. So I don't really have any ideas right now. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, my favorite brainstorming program to create a random prompt for an image. And for some reason, ChatGPT, well, I should say AI in general loves neon. And I really can't stand that. So let's try this again. And it loves futuristic too. We're going to take that out. All right. Fantastic. So we have a cozy cafe perched above the clouds at sunset. We're going to grab this. We're going to copy it. And we're going to Pop it in right there. And you got to check this out. What I love about OpenArt AI is you could turn on auto enhance to enhance the prompt even more. So we're going to turn this on and we're going to click on it. And right here it says quick enhance. So let's go ahead and enhance this. And it really did a great job at expanding that. Fantastic. So we come down, let's come down a little bit further. Be conscientious of this output size. I don't want it square. I would like it, let's see all these options here. Uh, I would like it horizontal three by two. No, we'll go widescreen, 16 by nine, 16 by nine. And I'm going to increase this to four images. And this is gonna cost me 60 credits, but I'm okay, because I have 16,000. All right, let's go ahead and create these images. Watch how fast this happens. Here we go. And while those are loading, I can come up here and change the model. And let's do that. And I'll show you another option. So let's compare open art photorealistic with nano banana. Ready? And we're only going to do two on this one. Let's go two for nano banana. And while those are generating, check this out. We're going to come back in here. We're going to change the model and we're going to go try something else. Cool. So let's go Peter Rabbit. And again, the same prompt, let's go ahead and create. And we're gonna do one more. Let's come down here and do, oh, interesting. Medieval illustration, coloring book. 
Guys, this is a big one. People are making so much money on Amazon creating coloring books. So that might be an option for you too. Wow. Very cool. I didn't see that one before. Uh, so let's go. Let's do this one here. Photorealistic. Okay. And we're going to take a look at these and we'll just look at the quality, right? All right. Let's click on this. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh, that's not it. We got to go back backwards. Oh, this was a video I created for a music video. And look how look how amazing this looks. Oh my goodness, it's really really great. Okay, let's look at this one, you guys. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. And that was photorealism. This is pretty good. All right. Nano banana. Okay, this one's nano banana. So this one definitely is not realistic. I thought this was more photorealistic and it's not. This You can see the model right there. It says nano banana. And you can, well, I'm going to talk about upscaling these in a second. You can reuse the settings. There is so much versatility with this program. All right, here's storybook. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, and this one is Epic Laura, 35 millimeter. These look a little blurry, but that's what happens with uh, with a lot of these models. You have to explore, and a lot of this is trial and error, right? And you will find your favorites. Look at all these, my goodness. Okay, we're gonna do uh, a another image, and then if you stick around, we're gonna make them move, right? We'll make videos of these as well, but we need more interesting prompts. We want to create a character image prompt now. All right, let's do this one right here. A young traveler with messy brown hair. We'll do this. Let's come back. Let's paste that in. And we're going to keep the prompt as it is. And we are going to just depend on the quality of the model. So let's go here, open art AI. Let's do that. Let's come down, change our input to, we will make it vertical. Right here, we'll make it tall, nine by 16. And uh, just two images and let's see what other options we have. There aren't any other options with this one, but let's go ahead and create this. However, if you choose a different model, like if we go to Flux Realism and then we go to more settings and then you go image guidance, you can do image to image. So whatever you create will look similar to the image that you drag in here. And then output size, this is default. So we want to go portrait, right? And okay, yeah. So we're, we're going to try flux realism this time. We're, we're not going to use image guidance. And we have our output size set, our advanced settings, upscale. You can upscale it from here. And I'm going to show you how to upscale it in the photo area in a minute. And let's create this. And while those are generate, oh my goodness, look how quick it did it. Oh, it's upscaling them for me. My goodness, you guys, this is flux realism. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. But let's go to model or character and go to open art. We're going to come down here and go to Pixar right here, Pixar style. So you can see what this looks like. All right, let's come down here. What are our options here? Wow, you have a lot more options, you guys, with this one. Image to image, style reference, pose reference, composition reference, face reference. So if you wanted this image to have a different face or someone else's face, you would drag and upload one of your own images here. Again, we want to stick with the output size portrait 9 by 16 number of images just two only two credits will be charged interesting okay so let's go ahead and generate oh before we do that let's talk real quick about negative prompts so this is the description of what you do not want to see in the image so for instance you can push this button right here you go uh photorealistic we don't want it photorealistic negative see what see what it did it added the negative prompts in here for us so you can use that and it'll just make your image that much better. Prompt adherence. So how close do you want the image to be to your prompt? I want it to be pretty close. So we're going to put it at 10. Let's come down here. 
And it looks like we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and create this with Pixar style. And hang with me guys for a few more minutes. I'm gonna show you the video section in here and it's really powerful. All right, so here we go. All right, not bad. So this is Pixar style of our prompt. Cool. All right, so Pixar style. Let's do one more. Let's, let's do imagine four. And the output settings on this one, it's just square, it's one to one. But pay attention to all these details because with every detail that you enter in here, every section that you complete, your image will just come out that much better. Yeah, pretty good. I like the realistic ones better. But that's just an idea of how powerful this program is. Okay, so let me show you something even cooler. Once you generate the image, you can click on it. And let's click on Rylan. So I created a consistent character. His name is Rylan Vale. And I did that for Suno AI. I created a persona in Suno AI and I created a music video with Rylan Vale in it using OpenArt AI. And I'm gonna show you that in a sec. But here's what's cool, you guys. So all I did was you just click on the image and you have these options up here. Now, pay attention carefully. In Paint is select an area on your image and then enter your prompt below to add something, like if I wanted to add sunglasses. So let's try adding sunglasses. So I'm gonna do this. And on the right side, I'm gonna say, add sunglasses. And I just want one image, so let's create this now. And I'm gonna go over here and you're gonna add this to the canvas. And it saved it. So over here, uh, you can remove objects. Like I can remove these cans right here and it'll do it quickly. It's a quick erase. And there we go. It just erases these cans. That's fine. Boom, 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 done. Okay, magic expand. This is if I wanna make it into a thumbnail or just a different aspect ratio. So I'm gonna make it landscape and I'm just gonna create one. Okay, so we click on this. Come on over here and we're gonna add to canvas. And there we go. And this one I'm gonna delete and we're gonna, now we're working with this one and every change you make is saved in your history and, and I'm gonna show you that in a sec. So right, we did expand, stylize is here. You can stylize with a reference image while keeping the original composition. We're not gonna go through all those. I use these a lot in paint and remove and expand. The background is I can put this gentleman in a completely different background, like at the beach. Let me show you that. It's detecting the background. And we're gonna change the background to a beach. Wow, that came out really, really nice. So we're gonna add this to our canvas now. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. So blend layers, you can blend layers, you can find and replace. So if I wanted to, if there was a cat in this image and I wanted to replace it with a dog, I could do that. And then you have an upscale function right here. This will bring you to Open Arts upscale page. And let's see, you click on this. And so here's the original version. And then here's the upscale to definitely add in more definition to Ryland's face. And then right here, you go here, ultimate upscale, two times face, click to upscale, there you go. L look how phenomenal this looks right now. So, so I'm out of here. You can play around with these options over here on the left side, but let's go home. And guys, we're almost done with this. I'm, I'm actually not gonna do the video in this one. I'm gonna do the video in my next upcoming video. But before I do that, let me just show you our assets. If you go to image, you can see your editing history right there. So watch this. Everything I did, everything I edited is all right here. And down here, this is our aunt who passed away about a month ago and they sent us an image and the background of the image was not very nice looking. It was like a brown lake. So I brought it into OpenArt AI and we generated a couple of different backgrounds and then upscaled them and then came up with this. And we uploaded 
the upscaled image to canvas champ and created wall hanging canvases for our family. So it made it so easy to edit that picture. So listen, that's all I have for you right now. There are so many other awesome, awesome features in OpenArt AI. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use the video feature. We just ran out of time today. So I hope to see you all on the next video.